If you've been a part of the Tarkov community for any length of time, you've probably heard players ask, when's the next wipe? But what exactly is a wipe? When do they happen and why should you care about them? These are all valid questions we'll answer today. I'm Gaz, welcome to the channel. Let's talk about the necessity of wiping this lake clean in Escape from Tarkov. I'm going to assume you're aware of the basic gameplay loop in Tarkov, that being it's a looter shooter where you progressively earn money and acquire better armour, ammo and other gear. As you hear that sentence, you might start to understand where this video is heading. When you first buy Escape from Tarkov, you start with almost nothing. Some basic supplies to help you through the harsh and treacherous lands of Tarkov. You speak to a few friendly people, the traders, who will ask you to do favours for them in return for money and supplies. You load into your raids, complete these tasks, sell any excess items, then re-equip ready to do it all over again, but this time you've got an optic on your weapon and better ammunition. As we work our way through the game, we find things, buy things and earn things that make us stronger, either by way of killing enemies faster with better guns and ammo, or taking less damage through armours and helmets. These are the stages of a wipe, and everyone experiences these stages at different times, depending on how much time you have to play, your skill level, and at what point you start playing Tarkov. You'll also need a healthy dose of RNG when searching for quest items and even in some firefights, allowing you to complete quests and survive more raids. Stage 1 is the beginning and usually doesn't last too long, however with the release of 12.12 this has been extended somewhat. This step relies on finding quest items from each raid and getting the best value kits from level 1 traders. There's only a limited amount of power you can accumulate in stage 1 and to me this is as hardcore as Tarkov gets. Weapons and armour are not only expensive but also hot garbage when compared to later game items. Upon hitting level 15 you enter stage 2 by unlocking the flea market. Once the flea market is open to you, you have an almost unlimited amount of options when it comes to buying gear. Here, everything except the best weapons, armours and ammo are available directly for purchase as long as you've got the cash. This makes money runs and hitting valuable item spawns a much bigger focus in stage 2 until you acquire enough wealth to move into stage 3. Players can easily find themselves drifting between stage 2 and 3 if they aren't careful to balance their loadouts and money, and especially as upgrading the hideout becomes a bigger priority. Stage 3, as you might have guessed, is hunting for PvP and finishing any quests you might have left over, including the push to hit level 62, completing almost every quest in the game and picking up the Kappa container. So, why is this relevant? Well, the overarching theme here is that of progression and accumulating wealth. Personally, I'm at my happiest during stage 1 and 2, where I'm earning money and hoarding quest items trying to level up traders in order to buy better gear. However, getting to stage 3 is where my motivation to play the game can drop off, sometimes severely. Sitting at 25 million rubles sounds like a dream, doesn't it? The ability to buy anything that's not locked off on the flea market, and romping through raids attempting to kill any PMCs you run across, then extracting and repeating the process. Well I don't know about you, but doing this over and over again just doesn't seem that appealing, and it also doesn't deliver on what Escape from Tarkov promises to be. We're supposed to be scared for our lives, carefully scavenging supplies to help us just about survive that raid. The question shouldn't be, which item should I purchase from the flea market to dominate a raid? It should be SKS or AK-74U, at least for a short time. Finally we get into the core subject matter here. If you're finding value in this video, let me know by hitting like. Thanks for supporting the channel. In that very extensive introduction, I effectively explained the need for wipes without really explaining what they are. Let's do that before we go any further. To keep it simple, a wipe is when the developer, Battlestate Games, decides to completely clear players' inventories, skills, money and trade a rep. Anything you've worked to level up and wealth you've accumulated, and anything you've kept in your stash is chucked out. We're all reset to level 1 with exactly the same gear we had when first purchasing the game. There are a few variations in the exact starting gear, depending on the version of game you purchase and the faction you've sided with. Usually, wipes come about as a way for BSG to add new systems and mechanics to the game that might have broken the economy or just to test leveling changes and other such systems. It is a beta after all, and we have to remember that there's a lot that needs testing and tweaking to make sure the game releases in the best way possible. Quite often, a big patch accompanies a wipe to ensure there is new and interesting tasks and objectives for players to complete. The most recent wipe came with patch 12.12, which is largely considered one of the best patches ever released into EFT. 
This patch bought the new map Lighthouse, Inertia Movement Mechanics, a restricted flea market, and VoIP for in-game communication. Without a wipe, there would have been a lot of data missing for BSG in regards to the beginning and midpoint of the wipe, as it had been six months since the previous one. On the subject of frequency, wipes usually occur every six months. The past four wipes have happened between five and seven months after the previous one, which is a good frequency, giving players enough time to complete their personal progression cycle. Usually, after four months, the player base is hungry for a new patch and wipe to sink their teeth into. So we've already dabbled in this point, but let's really drill down into why wipes at this current stage of Escape from Tarkov are not only great for keeping the gameplay loop of the game refreshing for players to keep coming back, but are also essential for the long-term health and stability of the game and its economy. Firstly, as mentioned, wipes give BSG the opportunity to add new quests, items, stats, skills and maps without rocking the apple cart too much. We have to remember that Escape from Tarkov is classified as a beta. In reality, it's more of an alpha with the content being added and the huge number of changes, but that's a topic for another time. If new perks and skills are added that high-end players already qualify for, it makes those players that much more powerful when facing newer players. It also means BSG can't collect as much data on how quickly these players are achieving these high-level skills as they're already at the experience threshold. The way the game is currently set up, wipes are necessary to ensure every player has the opportunity to experience good PvP fights. When the game wipes, the level playing field in terms of fighting and progression is so important to inducting the next wave of Tarkov players, as they get to grow as players alongside those considered the best at the game and have a decent shot at taking them on too. They are also necessary to keep players coming back, while the game is set up as it is. As we talked about earlier, nobody can load into lobbies with the best gear raid after raid forever, it gets boring for a large majority of the player base. Wiping might seem like an arbitrary way to keep players coming back, but it's the best solution we have for now, and it works. When open world becomes a reality, as well as story quests and other similar content, there will be less of an emphasis on wiping. Though I do believe the player base thinks wiping as a feature is a relatively good thing and should stick around. BSG have talked about having seasonal and main characters, where seasonal characters will have 6 monthly wipes, for example, but your main character will be persistent. With all the features that are planned for Escape from Tarkov, as well as BSG's attempt to slow the economy right down, I do believe in the future that wipes will be less relevant and less important, but this all depends on how far things like the flea market and the amount of loot that can be found in raid is restricted. Ultimately, wipes work and are necessary to keep players coming back into the fold and maintaining both a healthy player base and a healthy game. A lot of the future of Escape from Tarkov is uncertain, but for the foreseeable, expect wipes every winter and summer, along with new content to explore with each one. I'd love to hear what you think about the frequency of wipes in Escape from Tarkov. Do they happen too frequently? Not often enough? Let me know in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed it or found it helpful. I really appreciate those of you who hit that thumbs up. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.